Hi guys, um, this is my new playlist called Algorithm and Application. So in this playlist, we'll talk about different algorithms and then we'll also create a program that will show the application of an algorithm. So today we'll talk about DFS, Depth for Search, and then we'll also make a program that will read the image file, BMP file, and then count total number of island in the images. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. Let's say count island. Okay, and then uh, since we're focusing on algorithm, uh, we are not going to talk about how to read BMP images. So we'll use a standard library. Uh, so as uh, I, I just did a Google and then I found out that there's a library called Easy BMP. So you could also download this library, Easy BMP library. And then this, this is the link, the first link easybmp.sourceforce.net so you can just download that library and then copy everything uh, copy and then paste it inside the folder okay. so now what we can do is let's go to uh, the code blocks or whatever IDE you use to write code and we're going to use C language. Let's say console application C++. Let's say, um, let's give the path desktop and then count island, okay. And count islands, okay. So this is our file. And then let's add everything inside in all the library files okay so why is there no library files okay so it creates the folder inside this so i'm going to cut everything and put it inside this folder now uh, and i should be able to see the files okay all i'm doing here is adding the library and nothing else okay so now I have my main file. So this is where we write our algorithm. So let's get started. So I'm going to use vector library, include vector, and that's already there. So we're going to implement DFS. Uh, so let's talk about DFS first. What is DFS, right? So let's say I have an array, um, and then the array is filled with Let's say ones and zeros. Let's say one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, zero. Let's say these are all zero. All empty cells are, let's suppose that all empty cells are zero. Okay. So what happens is DFS, let's say this is our image uh, that only has white and black pixels. So what we do is in DFS, let's say I found out the white pixel, one is white pixel, suppose one is white pixel, then what I do is I look around all the cells around here and then see if any of its neighboring cells are one. So um, I see that this one is one, so I go in here, right? So, and then as soon as I see is the white pixel, what I do is I check for its neighboring cells now, right? So, so this one has one. So I'm going here. And okay? I'm assuming that I'm I, I'll check all the pixels from top left corner. So this one is the first one. Uh, and from here again, I see that this one is one. So I go down here, right? And then from here again. If I come all the way, I see this one over here. Go over here, right? And then I see another one. So this is why we call it depth for search. So whenever we see the kind of pixel or the kind of value we want in array, uh, it first goes to the deepest level it can and then comes back. 
and then goes to another neighboring cell. For example, after this, there are no any cells that contain one. It's neighboring cells, right? So it goes back all the way here and then focuses on next cell. Is this one? No. Okay, just then move on to next cell now and then do exactly the same thing again and again. So this is the depth per cell. So we will be using this technique to find how many islands are there uh, in an in an B, BMP image file. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so let's write an algorithm for DFS. I'm just going to call DFS, and let's say uh, let's um, let's assume that we'll we'll only have one or zeros in our BMP file. Okay, later on we can fix uh, how 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 different colors can be interpreted as one and zero once we move on to other part but for now let's just make our algorithm simple right? and uh, since ones and zeros could be a true and false so i'm just going to call it a boolean right so it's a 2d vector i'm going to call bool and and arr okay so i'm passing the value by reference here because it's, we're not going to change uh, the values of matrix because we're not going to edit the image right uh, but it's uh, necessary that you pass the value by reference this ampersand sign here it's important because uh, we need to call dfs function a lot of times right and if you don't pass it by reference this array contains all the information about image right so you are passing the use information in an argument so it's going to take a lot of time so we just pass it by reference okay and then we need a position y and then i guess we need width and then height and then one thing we didn't discuss here is that as soon as let's suppose this was one example right let's say um, i sc i scan all these cells first row right and then when i go to second row i find a white pixel again right and then According to our assumption, we start checking from top left corner, right? And when this cell checks on the top left corner, it finds one again, and then it's going to go back here. We don't want that to happen because once it's done, uh, we don't want to, once the cells are visited, we don't want to revisit the cells again. Otherwise, uh, it'll be redundant and then it could be a never ending loop as well. So, what we do is um, we create another matrix. Of same size and then we 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 record as soon as um, our function traverses through all these cells we just record whether it's visited or not and then if the cell is visited we don't want to visit it again okay so for that I'm going to pass another uh, two-dimensional vector of boolean again and then we call it uh, visited so this one is again passing by reference because it's going to be same size of the image it's going to be the same size okay so um, now what should we do okay so as soon as we enter we're going to say uh, this cell is visited so we're going to say true right and and then what we're going to do is we're going to go we're going to check all its neighboring cells right let's say i'm here then i'm going to check this 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 so let's do this in a loop so that it'll be easy so that we don't have to write all eight commands so i'm going to say i less than eight why eight because um let's assume this one this one has eight neighboring cells three here three here one here and one here those are eight right and uh, plus plus i okay so um, is this still recording oh yeah okay um so now what should we do okay so we also need to see um if uh, our coordinates are valid right for example if i am at this point i might start checking from this point and then go all the way down what if i am in the first row in first column i can't go here 
right? Because there are no any no no coordinates over here. And same with this one. I can go here, I can check this one, but I can't check this, 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 and this. Same thing goes here. So we have problem with this, 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 and these rows and columns, right? So let's create another function called um, is it safe? Is it safe to go to that coordinate or does that coordinate even exist, right? So uh, let's pass our vector. <coughs> we have three vectors here. Okay, let me delete this one. Okay, this is right. Okay, I guess so. Vector bool. I'm going to pass uh, array again here and then position um, and then again width height and then again vector of that keeps the record of visited cells so and then we just return uh, if x is greater than equal to zero it's valid right and but x has to be less than its width and then also y is greater than or equal to zero and it's valid y must be less than the height and we only want to go if the cells are not visited x y and then we also want to see if our um okay i'm going to explain this part later or might be necessary that i don't have to explain you guys will understand i'm just checking if this array contains one or not because later on we are going to convert that um, image file into the array of zeros and ones so wherever we find green color we're going to assume that that's island so we'll replace all green colors with one and then blue pixels with zero right so i'm just checking with this statement yeah i'm checking whether my pixel is green or blue so if it's green then only i want to go for DFS, right? If it's blue, I don't want to go. I don't need to check. I just want to check this. Okay, now so this should return whether it's safe or not. So let's call if it's safe. Is it safe? Yeah, so is it safe? And then we're going to pass the array uh, x, y, width, height, nothing changes here. Ah, okay, so something needs to be changed. Okay, uh, so what we do is now um so now over here is it safe so this x and y needs to be changed why because let's say i am this is x and y then i'm not checking this position right i'm checking this position this position and this all eight neighboring cells so for that okay so uh, for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array here. Let's say a, a row mask. So row mask is we're going to have the coordinates over here, column mask, and then okay. So let's let's see what we're going to have inside this, right? So over here, let's say I'm at this position then what's the difference between this column and this column it's negative one right what about this one this one is also negative one what about this one negative one because all of these cells lie in the same row right just above the my original position what about this one um, this one is on the same row, right? So zero, zero, and then this one, this one is plus one, right? It's right below that row. So uh, what are we going to have in row mask? Minus one, minus one, minus one, zero, zero, one, one, one. So that's what we're going to have here. In row mask minus one, minus one, minus one, zero, zero, one, one, one. Okay. So we have this and then now 
we need to find out column mask. For that, uh, when I'm at in the, at this position, I think the colors are confusing. Let's choose different color. When I'm at this position, right? So where is this thing? This one is at minus one, right? What about this one? This one is at zero. So minus one, zero, and then this one plus one. What about this one? This one is again at minus one, and then we need to check this one. So this is our neighboring cell. So this one is one. Again, I think minus one, zero, and one, right? So what we're we going to have here now? Minus one, uh, zero, one, right? Minus one, one, and then again same thing. Minus one, zero, one. So these are our masks, right? Now we can put this inside loop. So row mask i plus column mask i. So this is the reason why we need to call sorry i. So this is the reason why we need to call this is it safe function because for all the cells it's going to check all eight neighboring cells which which would be impossible for these four rows and columns right so that's why we are calling that function so if it's safe then we can go in calling this function this function itself it's called recursive functions so we can go to uh, this position now we're jumping in into another position so we don't we don't need to change the width it's always same right and then visit it and where is this visited thing being recorded it's recorded right up here and then over here we don't need to check whether it's safe or not because if if we are at this point that means it's already safe because we are only calling this function if those coordinates are safe right so we don't need to check whether it's safe or not over here so i think this is it now let's move on to counting the number of islands here Mm, let's say it's a integer type count island and how long is this recording going on okay around 17 minutes okay so let's try to make this a little fast now so over here i'm going to pass again the vector vector bool and array so what else do we need let's make this one simple let's pass width and height width and uh, height of the image file mm, and then over here um we're going to make two loops less than width plus plus i and then uh, for int j equals zero j less than height plus plus j we're going to traverse through all each and every pixel we don't actually because we just see if it's green in color. If it's green and if it's not visited, then only we traverse through that. Otherwise, where do we need to go, right? So if this is the case, uh, then we call the function TFS. And then we also need to pass the position and then with width comes from the parameters up there and then visited okay so we don't have now we have few problems here so the first problem is visited we don't have this variable created yet, right so let's create a variable so it's going to be vector of vector bool visited and what's what is its size width and vector bool height okay and then let's also initialize this to false this means that we are assuming that at the beginning none of the pixels none of the cells are visited right we assume that all of these cells are false and once it traverses in this uh, inside this um, because of this function and then we're going to set it to true each and every cell will have value true. 
so now and uh, there's one thing now how can we count the number of islands right for example in this image it's a little confusing but we can see that if you remember from the beginning these are the ones having one and then these are the ones having one here right that means we have two islands so how can we count let's say we start with this uh, this point uh, it's it's not a a r r i j it should be one because uh, green pixel starts from here right and then it's not visited because we are going for the first time that means it traverses through all of this before it comes out of this function right so that means what you can understand is if we call this function right on after only all the green pixels are traversed then it comes out of the function that means what we can say is as soon as um, it comes out of this function this function here that means one island is um, it, it, ca it counts one island right so let's say in um, island equals zero so every time we call this function then we can increment the count of island right so and then let's return island sorry return island okay so this is it now let's move on to the main function and then see if we can now load um, bmp images so for this we need uh, this header include uh, what is it called easy bmp bmp dot h e a s y easy bmp dot h okay so we need this um, library and then there is a class called bmp i'm going to call it image and then i'm going to load the image file so there's nothing to understand about this it's the function you can just look at the documentation to find out what functions you need to use let's just call it island.bmp so this loads the file and now we can calculate width and height so width will be img.tell width this should have made this letter small Anyways. height img. Dot Till height okay so now I have the width and height of the image and then I also loaded the file island.bmp I know we don't have that file but we're we going to create one after some time okay okay so how long is this video 20, 23 minutes okay let's try to complete this within 30 uh, let's see if we can do that now what do we need we need to create a vector of vector of um, boolean array and it's going to be of size width and then vector um, boolean um, of height uh, okay and then what we're going to do let's traverse through all the image equals zero i less than width and plus plus i so what we're going to do is we're going to go it go to each and every pixel inside that image file and then convert the color into zeros and ones or true and false z less than height plus plus z now there's another function called let me try to recall image dot get pixel uh, I comma J this will give me the pixel color in RGBA format and I'm going to check whether it's green or not so I'm assuming that our picture is either completely blue or completely green right so if it's completely green then we might we must have 255 value right so this function returns true I mean it's not a function it's this expression returns true if the pixel is green if it's not it's going to return false right so we can just assign this function and expression directly to our array list i z 
right so now doing this we by doing this now we created an array of exactly same size as our image file with um, filled with all true and false and according to the color right so if it's green it's going to assign that pixel i mean that um, shell in the matrix as true otherwise it's going to be false okay so this is done let me see the time again okay 25 we'll have to make this within 30 minutes okay so what else should we do what else should we do now count islands what if we count islands let's see count island what do we need we need to pass the array file array and then um then we need to pass the width and then height of the image so what if i do see out this okay so let's save this and then let's go to our um this file and then create new image file so is there an option for yeah so this is the image file i'm going to call is island.bmp uh yeah that's what i called right so right click and then edit the file and then okay so let's go here and then make this completely green oh no let's make this blue completely blue 255 so color this so it's blue now let's make this completely green 255 make sure it's 255 because that's what we said that's what we have written in the software right if it's 255 then it's green because you could always write 254 and it's it's, it's still green to our eyes right but your software won't understand so just make sure that it's exactly 255 and let's make one island here and then let's browse this and then another one over here and then this let's make one more uh, okay so maybe this one actually let's let's do this what if we do this it should work right okay so this is another island now let's save this image file close this and then let's run the program let's see if it works i hope it works ah what is this reason uh, okay so the shortcut for comparison and the shortcut for my recording software is same so it just stop let's run yes okay so we have an error is it working okay uh what is it uh, is it save okay so we missed one bracket here let's uh, run now yes okay so we have another error again what does it say visited was not declared why is it not declared visited visited oh okay so let's run this yes okay again height was not declared height oh my god what is this h e i g h t height okay same thing here same mistake okay so let's run now yes another mistake okay how come we have i did same mistake exactly in three three different places one okay cannot open the island.bmp for input it can't why can't it island.bmp ah, it should be inside this right okay so now let's run okay so let's run okay so we have three right and then that is true right because we have we have three islands here let's try to add 
one more island and then see if it if it's still working so let's see if it's 255 okay and then make another island here and then browse it okay let's save and then uh, keep it like this so that we can edit after some time again okay so we have four islands let's go back and then create another one island let's create another island this way so this is another island Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and five islands, right? Let's see if this still works. Five, okay. So it's working, guys. So this is it. So simple algorithms like def for search could be used in image processing to find out the, to count the number of islands in the same way. I don't know whatever you can think of you could just use this algorithm to benefit in whatever you you can think of right so um that's it guys have fun coding and then uh, i'll see you guys in next video